I live in a place between places. South of Preston, east of Liverpool, and west of Manchester. A place with six rivers, four train lines, and a motorway. A stopover that I, and so many, call home. All roads lead to Bolton. The biggest small town you've ever seen, with ideas well above its station, and hope over expectation. Filled with relics of a past, not enshrined, but engulfed by what needed to be done. This church wouldn't sell, so they built the bus station around it, because at the end of the day, trains need to get here and buses need to run. Built under the shadows of giants born from a boom that only echoes in the hills that surround us. We take shelter under grandiosity and make the best of it we can. Sandstone and concrete compete for street space, but both do the same job here. If you grew up in Bolton, you learn to love dereliction. A playground for the young amateur archaeologists to stumble their way through. The architecture that used to mean something. But that's what makes them beautiful. Broken stone tablets written in a Baroque language we don't speak anymore. But it speaks to us. Whispers of what was whistle through cracked window panes, asking us for another chance. At the heart of the centre is a monument to us, drawn, designed and built by Bolton hands. Keeping a promise made over a century ago, but named after another town. Boltonians don't brag. We make art on the canvases we're given. We couldn't keep the grand post office that served us for over a hundred years, but at least the phone boxes in front are listed. Its replacement, not quite as grand, will never be the post office in the Bolton Lexicon, but I'll still post parcels there. At the end of every main road and walkway in the centre, there are steeples of churches and meeting halls that tower above the buildings beneath them because they were made to be boulevards. They wanted us to be the Paris of the North. Wide walkways winding through the things that made us who we are as we cricked our necks at the wonders above. You can still see what they wanted. You can still see that hope over expectation. If you climb up to the top of the marketplace car park and dodge the teenagers smoking and security guards, you can see everything. There's been a place of worship on this spot for over 900 years. This grand parish is the last in a long line just like us. At the back of the queue for so many things, for our time to shine again, to rise to the heights of what we once were and what we could be. But at least there's a hell of a view while we wait.